When you make a hydrogel, like a jelly, and you populate it with the cells, what's interesting is the cells will contract the jelly. So eventually, the jelly will just uh, have a tendency to contract. So if you contract the jelly surrounding a robot, say uh, our case, a robot finger, it will automatically fit with the surface of the robotic finger. Once you took it out. It's like a sweaty hand. <laughs> it starts to dry up a little bit. Then it looks, uh, looks really, really uh, realistic. So once it dried, it gets the wrinkle, small, very, very detailed wrinkles. And once you fold it, you could see that here, the, the so-called so uh, folds or something you could see. Our next step, would be something we would like to cover the faces, like a robotic faces, because if you think about humanoid, it interacts with human. So the human perceives the robot first through how it looks, right, your face. So if you can uh, replicate the detail of the face of a human being, that would be a good way to uh, boost the, the interaction with human.